Hi people, today we are going to discuss on e-commerce in EAM. Uh, we are going to discuss all the installation etc. So let's start with this. Uh, the first thing would be what exactly is e-commerce. So e-commerce is nothing but the online trading as you know. And uh, the second points are like um, in e-commerce under AEM there are multiple options as you can see. Uh, you must have a PIM that is product information management for a better uh, embedding of the e-commerce in AEM and let's move on to the second thing uh, AEM e-commerce helps e-commerce is nothing but the trading online e-commerce with product information uh, handles the activities of a website focus on selling on products of uh, via an online store then uh, in AEM you must be having a PM then AEM e-commerce helps marketers deliver branded personalized shopping experiences the AEM authoring environment allows you to customize pages and components. You will be having the options to author your complete page and all the features and components. Uh, let's talk about the features. A uh, number of features are there. As you can see, there are already shopping cart, check orders, and review products, vouchers, others. Move on to the next property. Uh, move on to the next features. So, you need not to create everything uh, through scratch. You will be having uh, most of these things. And we do have the search feature searching the products or any uh, um, kind of uh, catalogs is the EM ability in present your content in formal uh, needed by your visitors um, on any of the mobile device or tablets or windows then you'll be having the ability to develop your own in integration implementation there is a possibility to develop experience to run e-commerce based on shopper data Then there are multiple com commerce components which are already existing. These are the components which you will be having in your e-commerce. You need not to create com a component for them. You can simply extend them. Okay. Um, so the next thing is these are the standard e-commerce terminology. You must be having a good idea for these things. Please pause your screen for a minute and look at all these um, important e-commerce terminology. SQE is very important for them. Yeah, I mean it's again important one. All these are very important. You must be having a good idea for understanding the e-commerce properties or dealing with the e-commerce in AEM. Okay. Now uh, next is architecture and concepts. As you can see, there are three layers: commerce component, commerce API, implementation, and last is the repository. So commerce component. All these four components are the important one, which will be already existing product. Having the products product list is having the list shopping cart you are having the shopping cart option and then is a checkout the confirmation so these uh, then the next is the e-commerce api is a very important part and the last is the repository and e implementation uh, it's having multiple options jcr will be always be there there are multiple options like hybrid elastic path or intershop or the third party implementation for integrating your e-commerce with AEM. So we will be dealing with the hybrids here. Okay, there are two uh, major types of implementation as I have told you with an e-commerce engine like hybrids, inter, uh, intershop or the third party thing. It will uh, allow you to move easily to integrate in your commerce style with AEM. Pyventry is also one of those uh, a team. Then is the second way is within AEM using native development. This one is uh, basically under demonstration and there are multiple options as you can see on the screen. Then uh, for having a large data in e-commerce there are two ways of load asset post processing to a dedicated instance. So here you will be uh, having a dedicated instance like dam author for importing your product assets rather than importing the entire data that will decrease the load and will increase the speed of the e-commerce uh, operation so we'll be passing the product assets only to the dam author and then it will send it to the AEM author as per the requirement do not to send both of these to the AEM author based on that it will be sent to the AEM publish and the pages will be activated or deactivated then is the second thing is uh, you need not require any uh, 
product assets you can simply import your product data so that one is the second way to scale e-commerce the most important part is the e-commerce AM e-commerce via hybrid installation so what are the steps these are very important you must be very careful regarding this these are the prerequisites you must be having AM6 I will advise you to have the AM6 then you will be having and you should be having these content packages uh, these two content packages you can get it through daycare then you require to build your hybrid server you can download your hybrid server code from the hybrid site for which again you require hybrid account and those things are payable so you need to pay and then get a hybrid account and get the code uh, depending on the operating system you, you may require the groovy part these are the files which are important in the groovy and then the geometrics auto this is again very important part you require these many codes okay uh, let's download and build your hybrid server once you uh, upload these two packages through package manager in India you need to download and build your hybrid server directly download the hybrid commercial distribution from hybrid site unzip it go to the uh, main folder go to the bin platform through command prompt and uh, once you are there you need to run the following commands under Linux and following command under Windows I will be showing you a practical example of all these just after this video so please stay with this and uh, I'll be demonstrating you about how to work on Windows uh, how to download and build the hybrid server in your Windows by following these steps just go through the steps whatever I'm showing you and it's very much uh, like very much clear once you go through all these steps and see the video which I will be posting immediately after this video uh, you need to again follow these steps do not forget any step be specific and uh, again I will tell you uh, there will be a small difference that inside Linux we will be running, uh, running the shell script and inside Windows we will be running the bad script after your hybrid installation you will be getting everything inside your local host 9.0.0.1 which is a hybrid administration console uh, don't forget to follow these steps uh, you can get these steps through a uh, through online also so the last part would be to in, uh, set up your geometrics uh, outdoor store and then see the whether it's working properly or not on your side so that's all from my side stay tuned like the video subscribe it and let us know your feedback and moving towards the installation part this is the first that we have to unpack hybrid content and geometric hybrid content so let's move on to this part this is my hybrid content I will simply reinstall it in your case you will have to get it from the daycare and then you can do the same address is done let's move on to the geometric part happening it will take some time so this was the first step now in the next step we have to move to else download and building the hybrid server so this step is also done now and uh, since it's done we will be moving to the next step that is uh, we have to download the hybrid commercial distribution from the hybrid download site then unzip it into some root folder I'm testing it in uh, C drive. I guess copy has been done in my system. I'm going back to the command prompt. I will go inside the hybrid path. The bin platform. Inside the bin platform, if you list, there are many more files for the Linux units to run the set entv uh, dot ss. But in the case of the uh, Windows, I will be doing, I will be running the bash file. So this one is done. It's very. So I will run int clean or Okay, this process will take time, and whenever enter is required, you need to hit the enter. So this step is also done. What is the next step? Next step is to run the hybrid server dot bash file. So we are inside here. We can go to the hybrid server dot bash file. Just run it. 
so seems like this process is uh, completed I mean the hybrid service has been started let's go to the hybrid console on your local machine um, so whenever the first time you will log into your machine with the hybrid console access that is localhost 9001 you see this uh, kind of screen where you need to click on the initialize so the hybrid start uh, hybrid server has been started you can see this message the initialization take how many uh, minutes or whatever so once this one is done you can log into your hybrid console you need to go to those link hmc hybrids so go to the systems tool import and then choose the exact file of the geometrics in the configuration it will be exports.csv geometrics outdoors export.csv and in the resources it will be the zip file change the language to us and then go back start it it will take some time when once it will show you the success just click on the done go back again import it now you need to export the base base export file change the language again to the UN ENUS alright it's done start once it will show you then go you need to go to this URL which is your product cockpit also you need to open the site admin again you will require a uh, username and password which will be provided by your hybrid account so you need to log into the product cockpit and as well as once you will come to the site admin inside the geometrics outdoor site you will see english us would be the extra one you can open this one so in the product cockpit you can see all the items which are listed here and at the same time you can find all those items here in your um, website so you can do all the changes whatever you want now and you are free to do any kind of editing so that's all from my side let me know if you have any questions